After one month, yeah, after one month at Luce and Arthur's place, I can't believe this. One fucking month. I still can't believe it. It is not getting into my head. After one month of living in Luce and Arthur's place, I am finally back in my own space. Not that I didn't like it. I'm finally out of their house. Poor, poor Lou and Arthur. They were literal angels sent from heaven. Forever grateful for everything they did. Anyway, I am back in my own space. I booked this apartment for only one week. And I, I, I didn't know what to expect from this place. So I booked it for only a week. I think... To be honest, I'm just gonna spend my time here in Uluwatu because everything feels so intense right now. I feel like I'm still processing everything that happened and becoming a solo traveler all of a sudden when it wasn't planned is just a little overwhelming sometimes. So I like being in a, in a space that feels like safe and homey to me, which is Uluwatu. So this is definitely not my last time in Bali. Frankie and I are coming back at the end of this year. I will definitely have time in the future to just go and explore and see things and actually experience them with Frankie together. So I thought I'm just going to use this time to work on me. I don't have to travel a lot. I don't have to see the craziest things. I don't have to experience the craziest things. I really just need to focus on myself right now. So I figured I'm just staying here. I might leave for little weekend trips, but most of the time I'm going to be in Uluwatu. Frankie's brother just came to Bali. I'm going to be spending time with his brother for a while. <laughs> this is going to turn into a vloggy YouTube again. I was a little out of my vlogging vibe. I did not feel it for a while, which is why I came up with the like artsy poem video last week. But we have to get back on track. So here I am talking to you, sending you love and appreciation for watching this video. Let's see what the week brings. Wow. What on earth happened last night? I had literally the worst night of my whole entire life. Maybe one of the worst. So this room I was staying in, the room I was talking to you from yesterday, basically had black mold. They tried to get rid of the mold with the strongest chemical cleaning product ever. The whole room basically was drenched in the smell of chemicals. And I thought at first, okay, just like try to air it out, even though there was like no air coming through when I opened the windows. Oh my goodness. 
it did not help and after spending three hours in the room i got the worst sore throat the worst headache i got super nauseous i got super dizzy my ears were tingly everything just was so weird so i was like what the fuck is happening i can't stay in this room but it was already it was like one one at night because i came home late and then three hours later i just realized i can't be in this room I was like, okay, I'm just going to the Papilito place because I know they leave whenever they have free room, they leave the key outside of the room. So I was like, I just go there because it's in walking distance. I just walk over, see if they have a spare room, sneak into their room, basically spend the night there and then pay them in the next morning for one night. Walked over there at 1.30 in the morning Obviously, they had no spare room, but because I just needed to be out of that air I like cuddled Papilito for an hour and then I Walked back to the place and then I stayed outside basically for the whole night until five in the morning then it started raining i couldn't stay outside anymore so i went into the room i laid in bed with like my nose and my mouth covered i fell asleep for an hour woke up again left the room and then finally like the sun rose what is what is rise rose risen and then i just started walking anyway i messaged them and i was like i cannot stay in this room and i need you to give me a refund and i am leaving this room right now they actually were so nice i did not expect this but they were so nice and gave me the refund thank the lord now i'm in my new airbnb and i'm so freaking thankful to be here you have no idea and it's actually it's, it's super cute let me give you a room tour okay this is the bed and then we have we have this area here where all of my luggage is <laughs> and then we have this little closet back here a bathroom in here the bathroom is actually pretty nice the bathroom in here i like this because it's like you you it feels like it's an outdoor bathroom but it's actually not which is very nice and then a nice shower which is rare for bali to have good showers and then we have this little outside area here. So yeah, I'm more than happy to be here now. Frankie and I are planning on coming back to Bali um, mid-September and then probably stay here for a year, maybe more, maybe less. We will see. But I am currently looking at houses for us to rent. It's been a fun little adventure so far. It's actually, prices are quite high here. 
the rent is quite similar to Germany. We're trying to go cheap, obviously. Cheap but still nice. Because the thing with Bali houses, you like never know the quality of the houses. Because they tend to leak when it rains and you like kind of want a solid house. And also you want a good kitchen. Because you can't afford to just go out to eat every single day. So you need a kitchen, good kitchen, solid house, AC, um, homey cozy cheap and i was just looking at a very nice house it is just a little far from like hot spot uatu but i mean that's the price you pay i guess like you're either here in this area hot spot area but then you gotta pay more or you're a little further and pay less we're eventually putting down a deposit on one before I leave so when we come back we're gonna have a place for sure mm -hmm.